A kind of pure dry sample of potassium chloride crystals be obtained from potassium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Okay, so uh, the method that we're going to use depends on the solubility of reactants and products. Uh, and in this case, we've got aqueous potassium hydroxide, aqueous hydrochloric acid, aqueous potassium chloride and water. So everything that's soluble and apart from the water that's a pure liquid. So in this case, we need to react exactly the same amount of potassium hydroxide uh, with exactly the same amount of hydrochloric acid. Um, so, so we have neither reactants in excess, because if either of these were in excess, that would make uh, the product impure. So to do this, we are going to need our volumetric analysis equipment. We are going to need to pipette one. We're going to need to pipette 25 centimeter cubed of KOH, the potassium hydroxide, uh, into a conical flask. And we are going to add phenolphthalein indicator. Uh, phenol pH, oh, I'll spell that incorrectly. Phenolphthalein pH, you know, L. Phenol pH T H A L E I N. Add phenolphthalein indicator. Okay, two. Uh, fill burette. So we're going to need a burette as well with acid. Three. Uh, Put conical flask on white tile. That allows us to see the colour change on the indicator on the white tile under the burette. Three, run in acid until uh, one drop makes a solution uh, go from pink to colourless. At that point, we know it's neutral. Uh, so you may think to yourself now, I've got my potassium chloride and I've got my water, it's exactly neutral, I'll just evaporate the water and I've got pure. Well, I know you haven't. Uh, because the indicator is in there, and the indicator will make it impure. So we need to record how much acid was added. So we're then going to four repeat one, two, three without indicator. Now we won't see a colour change, which is why we need to measure the amounts of acid and alkali so correct. So, so carefully. Uh, so now we have got pure potassium chloride and water. So next we need to uh, heat to evaporate the water, uh, not to dryness. Okay. Um, six, uh, let cool and crystallize. And seven, dry crystals between filter paper. Okay, all these questions on aylshamhighchemistry.com.